Okay, so a couple of things um, I often get asked uh, from students is just different approaches to learning the fingerboard and to really familiarize yourself with the bass in terms of uh, knowing the notes on the neck, learning arpeggios, learning scales, learning modes. Um, there's a couple of sort of traditional concepts which um, I'm not so sure whether they offer that much value sometimes. One of the things I want to talk about is if, if you're learning, let's say we're just taking a, a scale, let's say we're just taking C major. So once we've learned the shape, See, that repeats all over the bass. It repeats here. It repeats here on a five string. There's other ways to learn it. Now, obviously, the notes occur all over the instrument. One of the ways that um, I figured out when I was at music school was to think about the bass instead of being in a very vertical fashion, but in a, was in a more linear way. So the first thing was to take a simple scale, let's take that C major, and play this on a single string. So, so this way you're starting to think C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Same thing on this string, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Same thing on this string, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Same thing here, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then on the B string too, if you've got a five string, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this way we're really learning the instrument all the way this way too, which is a great idea. 